Hi, Wellness Coach Lee is here for another episode of Real Love. And today we have a special treat for you because we are going to talk about a specific subject. And the subject is why men are intimidated by you. See, I've been talking with different people about what real love is to them, but I haven't really shared what real love is to me. So I thought it would be interesting for us to dive into that today. But before we get started, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments to let us know what you want us to talk about because we will go and we'll research the information and we'll come back. Now, today's topic for me is very, very uh, interesting. So I don't know how many of you actually saw the movie Julie Julia that was put out in 2009. The starring actresses were uh, Meryl Streep and Amy Adams. It was an adorable movie and it was about a young lady that was cooking her way through uh, Julia Childs' cookbook. And as she started doing that, she started gaining notoriety because she was, um, you know, cooking her way and doing the recipes. And, you know, as she started blogging about it, she started getting very, very popular. And it was just an adorable, wonderful movie. And I love that movie. But one of the things that I thought about was as we're doing our shows here, why not walk our way through some of the issues? So for instance, um, Mr. S I want to get his name right. His name is Stefan, and I'm going to say L because I'm going to mess up his last name, but his channel is Steven Speaks. And, you know, I'm new to the YouTube scene and everything, but as I started browsing through and I saw some of his videos, I thought, what a wonderful compliment. Then to, we're not going to cook our way through per se, but we're going to we're going to walk our way through some of the issues that he addresses because I'm telling you all if you haven't been over to his channel go over there I'm not a paid spokesperson but he is absolutely on the money do you hear me he is um, a, uh, a relationship coach and my goodness I am learning so much just by going over there to his channel so that's a plug <laughs> but anyhow um so we're going to talk today, um, I'm going to be the guest, and we're going to talk about um, real love. And uh, so, you know, uh, being transparent, uh, you all know that through my other videos that I'm a survivor of domestic violence, and in that surviving, sometimes you have residual issues that are still there. And so, you know, in all transparency, I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress, which is PTSD, um, anxiety, and depression. And until now, I really wasn't comfortable about talking about it. But, you know, I mean, so we're going through the program. And I think, you know, being transparent is a way for you all to get to know me, but to also glean some um, some useful and helpful tools. As I keep, you know, every day, I'm still working through the issues or the residue that is left behind. I want to say the residue that's left behind from being a survivor of domestic violence multiple times. Um, but this show is not about domestic violence today. We are talking about real love. And so one of the things that I wanted to, and I always started off with a song or the lyrics from a song when I have guests on. So we're going to do that today too. I wanted to talk about Love Will by Jordan Sparks. And she did that, or she was the, um, she performed it in Sparkle. Um, and, and the lyrics go, love will. Who gives you the world today? Who tells you everything is okay? Says all the things that you want to hear. Who will take away all your doubts and fears? Who promised you the moon and stars? Vow to never ever break your heart. Who will tap into your very soul? Then turn right around and be so cold. Oh my gosh, I love that song. And it goes on, it goes on. It's a beautiful song. But um, so um, the way, the reason that I wanted to talk about why men are intimidated by you was one of the topics that uh, that Stefan talked about. And um, well, you know, I talked a little bit earlier about you know being in a wonderful. Uh, courtship myself and see one of the things that happens when you're coming out of domestic violence and on the other side and you decide that you want to get into the dating arena it's a whole different world out there now whether you're doing um or whether you're you know you have a busy schedule and then you go into the online dating arena you know there was such a stigmatism or taboo about uh, online dating you know um 
but whether you go into the online dating arena, whether you meet somebody in the store, maybe you meet somebody at a gas pump, or whether you meet somebody wherever you meet them, you still have certain things that you have to look for because, I mean, just just understand the the world is vicious and there are some some real vicious people out there that really don't give a care about your heart you know what i'm saying so you have to be the gatekeeper and protector of your heart but um one of the things that uh stefan talks about when he talked about why men are intimidated by you it, it caught my eye because you know being a professional woman myself you know it's been a lot of challenges in entering into the dating arena and that was one of the things that I thought was like man you know are, are some men intimidated and you know never could get the right answer or get a, a answer that resonated with my spirit but um, I'm telling you when I say he knocked it out the ballpark let's dive in but don't forget to stay to the end because he gives us some solutions and some resolutions as to you know what can we do to make it better? If you feel like you fall into that category or you don't understand, but I'm sure you have some girlfriends or associates that have told you that, you know, man, and I hear it all the time with women, not just with myself, but like, dog, men are intimidated by me. He gives us some great insights. So let's dive into it, okay? He says, um, one of the reasons why men may feel intimidated by you or you um, you get that, that message that they're intimidated by you is because, mm, here we go. He knows you have better options. That one slapped me upside the head. <laughs> but he says that him knowing that you have better options means that he, he now it now creates an anxiety in men. Um, he does not know how to feel secure amongst all of the attention that he feels that you're getting. And that is a key point too. You know, ladies, rather, and we know that, you know, um, I'm not saying that there's a whole bunch of men out here that are, uh, um, that are like he said they might be dming you or, or or flirting with you or whatever you know but i think sometimes the case and i want to go back to you know how lonely phyllis hyman was you know she was so beautiful very talented you know but she committed suicide and i don't know and i'm believing that the story is, is the correct story or a version of it that she committed suicide because she was so lonely and you think that you know people look at you from the outside, they don't know what's going on on the inside with you, but they have these pre, uh, uh, pre judgments of you. So they start feeling that, or they see so much in you, which I'm not saying that there is not a lot there, but they, um, they just don't feel like they can compete with that, but they throw their hat in the ring anyway. Um, and, 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 and some of the, um, uh, some of the uh, some of the things or the outcomes or the uh, some of the ways that they will address it or attack it is some of the things that I know. I know I've I've experienced it, and I'm sure some of you have experienced it as well. But they self sabotage. They run away. And I've had that. Um, they're very toxic. They become very toxic. Hence, going back into abuse. They become very controlling. They start becoming demeaning. They need to bring you down. They need to bring you down a level so that they can feel like they're, you know, they're 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 elevated because you're you're down a little bit. And they also become very abusive. Um, these are ladies, please listen, please know this. It took me so long to understand this. These are the insecurities within him. It really doesn't have anything to do with you. And what is the solution for that? Hold on to your socks. And it's not my words, but these are the words coming from Mr. Steve Stefan. Okay. Um, he says, stop dating down. There is a disconnect there. So I thought that was just, an, that was just the answer, you know, and we don't even think of that sometimes, but that's the answer. Stop dating down. This is, there is a, a going to be a disconnect, no matter what you bring, no matter how much, well, sometimes as women and as nurturers, we think that, oh, we can love them to um, understand it. And that's, that's no. You cause yourself those issues that we just talked about, okay? And he says, number two, if you are more accomplished than him, and because of the day and time that we live in, women are give, given more opportunities now than we used to. So there's opportunity for educating. So we can educate ourselves more. Um, uh, women are are um, starting new businesses or starting businesses and becoming successful at their businesses. Um, and they're getting better paid, better paying jobs. So this can cause a man um, to have a strike against his ego. And especially if he's not accomplished himself. And it's, ladies, sometimes we feel like we have to, um, 
oh my God, we feel like we have to dumb down. And I've been in this situation, so I'm, I'm speaking with us in a crowd. <laughs> but sometimes you feel like you have to dumb down. And I think, you, and I, now I know that you shouldn't because you're not being your authentic, beautiful self. You have to be able to be yourself. And this is like, this is like walking on a tightrope out here, you know? Um, well, anyway, again, he says, nothing you can do about it. This gentleman or the man needs to work on himself. There's work that he needs to do to, com to, um, to bring himself up to that or to accomplish himself. So it's work that he needs to do. It's not work that you need to do on him. Um, and then number three, he says, if you make more money than him, if you make, and, and, and also another point that he made, which I thought was really a great point. He says that there are men, these men that we're talking about only make up a portion of the men that are out there. So sometimes when you keep running into the same man in a different body over and over again, you keep thinking that that's all that's out there. And it's really not. I think one of the key points is to work on yourself, do your self work, do your healing, you know, understand, like I'm just now coming into the understanding of what PTSD is because I was in denial for so long. And, you know, um, so, I mean, that's, that's self-sabotaging when you're in denial or something that you don't want to face. It's not who you are. It is a, it is a, a, a condition and it's something that you can work through and it's something that you can change. It's something that you can, that you actually can heal from but you have to do the work. You can't ignore it. You can't push it down because I'm telling you, just like, you know, I said I was in a wonderful, uh, a wonderful courtship, but some of those issues that I needed to work out within myself and, um, you know, cause some, cause it to be sabotaged, <laughs> not just on my part, but come, you know, the other person also needed work to do as well. And that's just an adult mature uh, conclusion is when you need to work on yourself and you go to your corner and you work on yourself and that person does the same. Um, so that's just, you know, life, right? So uh, number three, we talked about that he makes more money than you. I mean, you make more money than him. And, uh, you know, society now promotes or tells him that he's not worth, he's not worth anything if he doesn't uh, make a lot of money. So this is what I'm getting from him. He says that is a sore spot for men and, and and i got from an associate of mine a friend of mine's and i hope she doesn't mind me borrowing it but i will borrow things from you that's the that is the uh the the hazard of being an associate of a writer or a person that does vlogs or does videos it's some things you kind of remember who gave it to you and i want to give credit to the people that give it to you but sometimes you know all that information piles together and you know it becomes your version of it so um uh, and once again, I just want to remind everybody or all the women out here, let's stop trying to build a bear. And I did get that from a friend of mine and it stuck with me. She said, stop trying to build a bear, you know. Um, uh, let me see what else is there. Well, in going back to uh, going back to naturopathic uh, medicine, which, you know, our channel is all about wellness. Well, 80 percent of illness is emotion. So you think about that, um, because I know I start to feel a little bit, uh, I can feel the, the, the uh, emotions rising in me. And so I'm learning to understand when the PTSD is, 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 is in the forefront and taking control and I'm not taking control or when the anxiety is popping up, I know that. So it's about learning yourself and learning your body and also learning your triggers, because if you're... Um, not made it with somebody that is of even yoke, your triggers can be very, very um, detrimental to you, to the relationship, and um, even cause harm to the other person. So now here we go. We're going to the other side. What can make it better? Okay. So let's, let's, let's make sure that we stay to the end because here are two things that can make it better right off the rip. Here is... Um, Stop looking mean, difficult, and hard. Excuse me. Stop looking mean, difficult, and hard. Okay? So, uh, and that's called uh, attitude, of, attitude and negative energy. So when you have an attitude and you have negative energy, that is something that we can change. What can we change about that? We can change our energy and we can change the negative, uh, um, negative attitude. Also, 
we can hold peace within. So one of the things that I, I have to remember to do this, I have to remember to continue to meditate. I, you know, get away from that. We get away from things that bring us peace, like waterfalls, you know, find what gives you peace. Find out how you come to that breathable moment, you know, just breathe, take five minutes out of the day to just breathe. You know, there are certain things that you can do to keep yourself at a peaceful place. And so you're going to absorb that energy. And actually it goes into number, goes into the next um, way that we can make it better. And that's to have a better attitude um, because when we have a bad attitude and well, it's more talking about energy and it's about, you know, like oftentimes we're out here in this world and we are, um, we are put in position that we have to be, you know, have some masculine energy, you know, we have to make decisions and we're put into uh, stressful uh, uh, predicaments or stressful situations, not predicaments, but stressful, both predicaments too, I guess, right? So we have to learn to soften up a bit. And because um, sometimes men just don't want to deal with difficult women or they don't want to deal with you when you're difficult. So we push them away. So he's saying, what can we do to make it better? We can change our attitudes. We can have a more um, positive energy around ourselves. We can um, go into our peaceful place and then we can ex exude peace. One of the things that we can't, and, and this is not just to become um, a to, to come into being a relationship. It's not just to be in a relationship, but it's also to increase your quality of life. And um, so we said we can check our spirit, we can check our energy, and we can check how we come across to people, period. Because it will open up opportunities for us when we are a person that people want to be around, they want to um, they want to experience some of your energy, you know, you're smiling, a smile will come across, even if you are on a phone conversation, a smile will come across. So, um, so those were some of the things that I wanted to share with you today. And when we talk about... Uh oh, one other thing. There was one more. There was one more. Um, you don't tolerate uh, nonsense. When you don't tolerate nonsense, and that goes back up to our one, two, three, four uh, things of why men may feel intimidated or why we think that they're intimidated by us. Things that we can actually do something about, but there are some things that we can't. And so we'll go back through them, but let me go back to the fourth one. I kind of went all over the place with this one. So I hope you're able to follow me. So one was, no, he knows that you have better options. Two was, um, you may be more accomplished than him. Three is you make more money than him. And then number four, which I skipped all across was you don't tolerate nonsense. That's also, now those four things are something that you really, if that's who you are, that's who you are. And it's not a bad thing. It's just who you are. And the person that is meant to be with you, they will, they will, you guys can find your ebb and flow in that. So when you don't tolerate nonsense, you come across as a no nonsense woman. Your energy is, um, is, 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 uh, your energy is, you have a still a positive energy, but just that you, you're you not gonna tolerate nonsense. And believe you me, men know it. They know when you are not going to tolerate nonsense um, because you make them step up to a different standard. And oftentimes they don't want that. Sometimes they want someone that they don't have to have any standards with and they can get away with anything or do whatever they wanna do. Now, um, that's only a certain like population of men because there are, I do believe that there are men out here that are um, the real masculine men, that are strong men, and that are successful. It's just we have to allow ourselves or do the work on ourselves and then um, and then be open to receive him when he comes and know how to treat him when he comes. So, you know, that's pretty much for me in real love. Um, it is, I think it can be so amazing. I think it can be all that you have in your heart's desire for it to be. I just think that there's a lot of work to get there. I think that um, in order to get there, you have to know yourself. You have to know what it is that you want. You have to be able to articulate that in a, if you're a female, you have to be able to artic articulate that in a feminine energy. You have to be positive. Um, one of the things that I also learned by looking at uh, Stefan Speaks is, you know, um, you not only have to know what it is that you want, be able to articulate it, but also be able to 
say, you know what, this is not working for me and, uh, and be okay with that and not fall apart and all of that and your heart torn up and, you know, and, and, and lose focus of who you are. Just be strong in who you are. Stay fearless. Know that, you know, you are loved, you are lovable. And uh, please don't forget, guys, to like, share, and subscribe and leave your comments because we want some engagement and we want to be able to, we will be answering your comments and we will be bringing you more content. And this was just me, uh, you know, real love. I think real love is pure and real love is authentic and know what your worth is. Alrighty, bye for now and thank you for watching.